I've got another project I wanted to share with you. I've got to build a desk, and this desk is going to go in the living room, so we don't want a lot of clutter. We thought about putting cubby holes and all this, but uh, it seemed like it would just be a problem because it's going to be in the living room, and it has to kind of blend in with the other furniture and be minimal. So let me show you what I'm coming up with. Okay, for legs, we're going to use these here, these turned legs, and I looked online, and then sure enough, I saw these same legs at Lowe's, for about the same price as what I could buy them online, so I picked up four of these legs. Okay, the first order of business is, of course, cutting these skirt boards down. So we're going to do that, and then we've got to make a hole for the drawer. I don't know if you can see that, but I kind of outlined a little hole for a pencil drawer. It's not going to be all that much, but I want to leave enough to keep a solid piece going across the front. And so I've, I got it laid out here. Let's go ahead and cut that out on the table saw. Alright, we've got uh, our skirt boards all cut out, we got our pocket holes. Now what I'm going to, do, going to do is just put a little bead on the bottom just to dress it up a little bit. Nothing too much, but I think it'll be a nice element. Alright, I got all my pieces cut out, we're ready for assembly. Now the only thing I've got to do is I've got to set this piece back a little bit. I don't like it to be all the way flush out to the edge there. I don't know if you can see that. I like it to be set back a little bit. And the way I do that is I use a spacer block when I run those pocket screws in there. All right, so we put a little bit of glue on there. And then we've got this half-inch spacer block. I'm going to lay that right there. Okay, let's talk about the top for a minute. I was going to do a top similar to what I did in some of my other videos with a piece of plywood with a wood edge applied around the outside and put a profile on that edge. But on this particular project, I thought I would try something different. What I did was I bought some of this five-quarter inch thick sheet here. You can get these up at the home center. This. This is already pre-glued together, it's solid, and it's already, you know, sanded and everything. And I thought I might give this a try and see how this worked out. Now, this is pretty cool because, like I said, it's five quarters, so it's, it's even thicker. It has more presence. One of the things you want to avoid, or I like to avoid when I'm building pieces, is to keep using stock material. This kind of makes your, your projects look like flea market projects. You know, the guys selling birdhouses and 
the uh, potato bins and all that. They, it looks like shelf boards just nailed together. And so I'm trying to avoid that typical uh, repeatable size dimensions in lumber. So I think this might work out good. Now, like I said, I'm going to route an edge on it. And what I did was I uh, attached a sub base to my router to give it more stability. Because this is a pretty big bit on here, this table edge bit. And I want to try to maintain, if you start wobbling, it messes up your profile and then you got problems. So, that's what I'm going to do for the top and I think it'll come out good. Let's see. simple drawer here and what I did was I made two sides and I don't know if you can see I put pocket holes in the back and then at the front where the drawer front would cover it. so that kind of makes a good solid drawer and then I attached the bottom with some adhesive and of course staples and then the track gives support to the drawer as well and then of course I just made a drawer front I just ran it around the router and just fashioned the drawer front and I think that'll be suitable. You know, halfway through this project I came up with an idea of something that I wanted to add along the back of this desk. I thought it kind of looked flat and you see this detail a lot of times in historic pieces. I'm going to make this as an alternate piece. I may or I may not add to it. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay, generally when I'm laying these things out I have found that a small compass is really the, your best friend. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come up oh I don't know maybe about like that and then I'll come in a step maybe just a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to come up the same amount okay now from there, I'm going to open my compass up. And then from there, I just swing this arch right on around. 